This is us, the 1st Battalion Grenadier Guards on exercise. Today it's fighting in a built-up area, and this is the enemy, Orange Force, armed with laser simulated weapon systems. This makes the training very realistic. For the young guardsmen taking part, it's a tough exercise, but tomorrow they could be facing a real threat, or on operations on the other side of the world. This is Central America, and we're taking part in jungle warfare training with live ammunition. All of our training is tough. It's the only way to make sure that when called upon, we, as infantry soldiers, are ready for any situation we come across. The regiment, steeped in history, was formed in 1656. Since then, we've taken part in every major conflict which Britain has been involved in. There's more variety in the Grenadier Guards than most other infantry regiments. A soldier's greatest asset is his skills and experience. On operations such as these, you have to maintain the initiative to keep the opposition thinking. Helicopters get us in fast. However, as infantry soldiers, when we need to get to grips with the enemy, we usually finish up on our feet. On this exercise, we're moving onto the hilltops to take out an enemy position. With live ammunition, you have to rely on everyone around you. You learn to think on your feet, and then you'll need to react and move quickly. All operations are based on careful training, and this is carried on throughout your career, right from the day you join us. It's training like this which makes the British Army the best in the world, and the Grenadier Guards one of the finest regiments to serve with. Using the most up-to-date weapon systems, like the L96 sniper rifle, the LMG light machine gun, and the Javelin ground-to-ground anti-tank weapon. The regiment is like a large family. You become part of it the moment you join. So what's it like being in the Grenadier Guards? I've uh, been in the battalion four years. I'm Lance Corp Thompson. Promoted uh, last year. Uh, I've been to Kenya, Bosnia. I did half work and half adventure training. On the adventure training side, I, I did it inland. I went on a safari, which was excellent. We went whitewater rafting. That was brilliant, because I've never done that before in Kenya, I suppose. And it, obviously, the army have paid for it. And I, I, could not, I wouldn't have done it in, if I didn't join the army, if I was, did it in civil life because it would have cost too much. We went to Bosnia for six months. I, I actually got out there halfway through because I was doing a Lance Corpus course. And in my time out there, uh, we did um, house searches, getting weapons off the local civilians. We did, we did um, touch on Saxon driving and stuff like that, like riots and stuff, just in case anything happened. We also used helicopters to get from place to place and the rebro stations. The civil mates don't do nothing really. I, just, I love the army, it's just enjoyable. You just travel the world for free. The army pay for it and you do adventure training and stuff like that, and it's wicked. I love it. Wherever you are, you live and work closely together with your friends. These grenadiers are training for jungle 